A new rule has passed in hopes of helping business owners, but other neighbors wonder how it could impact others in our area. I'm Kendall Brandt, your neighborhood reporter in Northeast Tallahassee. I'm looking into a new soliciting ordinance that could impact business owners and neighbors in our area. Unwanted visitors are something that Malachi Popple deals with on a daily basis at his store, Extreme Gift Shop and Vape Shop. It typically happens two to three times a day, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's an industry we're in or what's what, but it's definitely a consistent problem. Specifically, panhandling from people without homes to turn to, living off of Capitol Circle Northeast. Something he says can become dangerous. A gentleman actually tried to get in one of my customers' cars with her to ask for a ride. Um, through the passenger side. That's why he was happy to hear about a new Leon County ordinance passed last week. Commissioners voted last week to enforce no soliciting signage with a $500 fine or jail. The ordinance says soliciting is defined as, quote, the act of requesting something of value, whether tangible or intangible. Those actions could include asking for donations for charity, selling products, asking people for their time for a survey, or panhandling. Commissioner Rick Miner did amend the ordinance to exclude political canvassers from that group. The rule was recommended by the Greater Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce. President Sue Dick says it's something on the minds of many business owners. Our businesses responded. Over 80 percent said they were being impacted. County Attorney Chastity Osteen says it would be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Enforcement is up to law enforcement. There is prosecutorial discretion. Enforcement that some, like advocate Robert Lee, worry will target Leon County's unhoused population. Even though other people are likely going to be tied up in, in the whole issue, they are very likely in the position to afford a lawyer. They are very likely in a position to afford legal fees. Somebody who's unhoused cannot. He says this will make it hard for people with no place to turn to find safety. It's just further pushing people out of the public eye where they won't be seen, um, where, you know, potentially if you know, they're in a situation where it's very hot, um, they have a medical emergency, they're going to be out in the woods somewhere where no one can see them, and it's going to lead to people dying is what's going to happen. That's why his group, Food Not Bombs, will continue to provide food and hygiene products to the unhoused population in Leon County. Bye. Have a good day, darling. But Popple says even though many panhandlers are not violent or causing issues, this new rule will allow him to ensure the safety of his customers. There's a need for that, definitely. I know, in, at least in my location here, and we're on the northeast side, so this is um, one of the more upscale sides of Tallahassee, and uh, we have a consistent problem with it. So I'd imagine on some of the other areas, definitely, most likely are having the same issue.